So I'm all ready for work. Just kidding. I'm getting ready. I have another laboratory meeting today in Milwaukee. So for those of you who are in the area and you need to drive around and get to places, be safe because we're supposed to be getting about half an inch of ice with three to five inches of snow on top. So slippery. Yeah. So today I'm getting ready with you guys and kind of show you what my morning routine is like. I like to look professional, but very simple at the same time when I have meetings. So I'm gonna be wearing this little express sweater that someone bought me. I think it's adorable and it's not crazy looking. Just simple red sweater. There we go, there we go. Easy, easy, how easy is that? I don't know what women complicate their day. What should I wear? And they throw on like 50 outfits. Just pick one that fits right. And for me, it's the red one today. I'm into red. And I'm going to show you guys my slacks. Let's back it up. Back it up. So these are my black slacks. Yes, I'm very skinny. Some people have asked how big my waist is. 24 inches. Yeah, 24 inches. Now, I don't know if the camera actually adds any weight, but all of my coworkers, which are fairly normal weight, they're always grabbing me and saying, you know, how are you so small and you eat so much? Cause I'll bring donuts and like a crap ton of fruit to work. Okay. It's because I'm very active. I can eat a lot. I have the energy. I'm moving around constantly. I'm talking, I'm burning calories by this even burns calories. When you move your hands, when you talk, that actually burns energy. So I'm a very, I'm constantly moving. And I think part of that is because when you eat a high carb diet, you're always like, whatever you have the energy so your body isn't like just boring and not doing anything and really monotone now i know people like this and i've known people who are very energetic and when they go on a diet i was actually reading a cool study that when they go on a diet they actually don't even smile as much or frown as much and that's their body's way of conserving energy so that's how you know somebody is fully carved up like completely full of glycogen in their muscles and their liver when they actually have energy when they're talking fast when they're multitasking when they're talking with their body that's how you know somebody actually eats real food and they are eating enough calories because their body is not wanting to conserve that energy by making you really boring and monotone and not wanting to move that is some people when they go on a diet. So definitely don't diet. But yes, I'm getting ready. So this is my workout. You guys saw my slacks and for my shoes. You already know, you already know. Aldo, I love Oxfords. They're just like so professional. But that's how long it takes me to get ready for work. I mean, obviously I showered already and put some eyeliner on. I love eyeliner. It's like, if I'm gonna wear one thing, on my face to go to work, it's going to be eyeliner. I'm like the eyeliner queen. Now, breakfast is quite important for me. It wakes me up. Some people are breakfast skippers. I don't know how you can, how do you even do that? I can't because I wake up thinking about food and I already have a lunch packed for my meeting. Now this is a very small lunch, okay? Five bananas is about 500 calories. This is how they should be. People are like, Nika, I feel bloated and gassy when I eat bananas. And it's probably because you're eating them green. If your bananas are green on the outside and they don't have any freckles, don't eat them. They're not ready. Now, 500 calories is not enough to get my day even started, okay? I need about 800 to 1,000 calories per meal. So roughly two to 3,000 calories a day is what I normally eat. It varies, sometimes I'll eat 4,000 if I'm very active, but for the most part, about 2,500. That's an average. Now, those bananas are not enough, so we're gonna go in my fridge. It's so beautiful. Oh my God, it's so big and juicy. These I love, I love oranges. I'm so passionate about oranges in the winter time because it's one of the few fruits that is actually ripe in the store in the winter. Citrus fruits are the shiznits. Now, I also love my apples. And yes, this apple has a bad spot right there and it drives me nuts when people throw away good food because of a little bad spot. It's like, take a knife, 
cut it out and the rest is still good. So I will probably bring, you know, maybe four oranges, five oranges, an apple. That's my fridge and my bananas. So <laughs> there you guys go. I have my stuff packed. Oh, and I forgot to show you my little, <laughs> my like little snack. Sometimes I eat this, not too often, but I do love it. And I love white bread with jelly. This is like a Russian jelly and it's actually whole blueberries in there, which is really crazy because it's hard to spread, but it's also quite delicious. So I have, I'm going to be bringing about 1200 calories worth of food just so that I can have things for lunch. I would always rather bring more food than not bring enough and then go to a vending machine and eat something super fatty or disgusting, something that's not good for me. So it's quite easy to pack a lunch. Even me, I'm like the busiest person I've ever met. Like I have no free time currently and I still make time to pack a lunch. So no excuses guys, let's go work now, peace.